Hello everybody, my name is Captain Curb and welcome back to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about some of the scripts I've been posting within the uh, Yoshi Engine community server. Uh, for those of you that do not know the server, it is an awesome place, you get lots of cool scripts. Uh, if you're not knowing how to code, um, you have lots of help. There was tons of people there that can help you out, such as Wizard Mantis. You got um, Star Catcher, who I mentioned in my last video, uh, and you've got just just a ton of people there, right? So uh, I will link the uh, Discord server down below. I also have a channel within that server that specifically is for scripts that I design and I'm trying to make them as user friendly as possible and it is taking a little bit more time than I expected but it's going to be very worth it once I start to get these out so in today's video uh, one of the more one of the questions I've been getting quite a bit lately is how to actually use events that are pre-made I made a character switching event tutorial last time, and since then I have updated the script, and the updated script is in the Yoshi Engine server. However, um, many people have trouble using it, and it's a little bit complicated to understand it. Once again, I will say Starcatcher has a great, I hope I'm not butchering your name, has a great tutorial on how to use them more specifically, and my stuff would dive into more how to make them. But I'll just kind of walk you guys through how to use a pre-made script. So in this case, we're going to be using a event script that I made called Character Switching Event. And here it is. For those of you that uh, want to copy this code, it is all in the Yoshi Engine server under Curb Script. So basically, this script allows you to call uh, three functions. Uh, only one, only two are working right now, but I will show you guys that in a bit. So as you can clearly see here, you've got your uh, dad switch and your BF switch. Those are the two that work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Yoshi Crafter engine. I'll start that up, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use this. Let's just turn that on a little bit. Alright, so we got Yoshi Crafter Engine open here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going into free play. First off, I guess I must say since uh, some of you haven't seen my other tutorials, you go into options. Uh, you make sure that your developer settings are all on. So... That's, that's what you want to make sure that you have on, otherwise this will not work. Go into free play. Uh, let's do dad battle. Let's do easy dad battle since I was testing on hard. And I need to restart the engine. Oh, hold on. So now, actually, since the song's actually working, my bad, I thought I had to restart the engine. I thought that that error was something involving that. It's probably my notes uh, script, which is fine. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to, yeah. Uh, oh, that's why. Hold on. <laughs> I have to fix something very quickly here, guys. I was just testing some stuff out, so, you know, I'll just quickly go and fix that. And we should be able to restart the song. We shouldn't get any errors. Or we did. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to press 7. Press 7. That's, that's it. Okay, uh, as you can see, we're now in the chart editor. Very cool. And what we can do now is we can go to song and we can uh, click. So this is how you start off events. You click either songs, edit song scripts or edit chart scripts. In this case, I'll be going on to song scripts. We're going to actually take out this because it was causing an error. And also take out this one. As you can see, my character switching event is already there, but if we want to add it again, I will show you guys how to do that. All you do, click Add Script. It opens up this page. Then we go to whatever folder your event's in, and then just simply click it. There it is. It's double click, just so you guys know. So that's how that works. Then click Save. Easy peasy. As you can see now, it is there. So we're going to go to our notes, and basically... Now what you're going to do is we're going to pop over to my entire screen 
and we're going to open up this. Now we're going to be using the BF switch here uh, that I used last time and basically it involves a I'll, I'll kind of highlight this out. So basically what you're going to want to do is we're going to want to find a place in the song where we want our BF to switch. Let's switch them right here. You need your function name. So your function name is whatever you call this. This is your function name if you want to think of it that way. This is the name part of your function. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. Actually, I don't know if this works with copy paste. Hold on. It does not work with copy paste. So we're going to need to type in BF switch manually. And that's it. That means that it's going to go through all of the scripts that you have added in the song and look for a function called BF switch. If it finds it, it's going to activate it. That's kind of the simplest way to say it. Next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on add param. Once you open up that, as you can see, function parameters opens and you can go in here and find wherever your this is this is your parameters. Sorry, I'm I'm all over the place. So this is your parameters. You've got your character, which is your first parameter. So let's say we want to change it to the mom since you know I did that in the last one. Next thing you're gonna to want to do is click add parameter again for a second parameter, which is right here. It's the X pose. The X pose is where you obviously want her to be. So I believe it was 1200 last time I checked. Um, and then we're going to want to add another parameter for her Y value and her Y value I believe is going to be zero. Next thing that we're going, oh sorry, that's 200, my bad. Um, and the next thing that we're going to want to do, since you've added all your parameters, and that's the thing, is you can add as many parameters as you could possibly desire. Um, you can do basically whatever you want here. And this will just fill in these. Now remember, that class is always going to be a string. So if you're making scripts, all of these are going to end up being string and you're going to need to use the std.parse float or parse int or parse bool uh, methods to be able to decipher which one it is. I recommend parsing int or parsing float because those two are more easy to understand and come out with like a better result. So with that, we now have that, right? Go back in here, we haven't changed anything, click create event. As you can see, it now shows up right here and that's it. All you do, press enter and let, wait for the magic to happen. And there you go, just like that, our mom has shown up and I'm just gonna quickly restart the song to illustrate that one more time. And boom, there you go. That's how events work. It's very simple. It's very intuitive. It's a great way to do it. And I think once everybody gets that process down and they get used to it, they're going to have a much easier time. Uh, they're going to find that they have a much easier time using events and making events. And obviously, I'm going to be making a lot more events. I've been working on a note event script, which will allow us to mod chart much more effectively and efficiently. So look forward to that here in the future. I know Yoshi Crafter has a bunch of updates coming down the road, so I'll be sure to cover all of those once they come out. For now, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to me on Discord, reach out to me on Twitter. My Twitter DMs are always open. And of course, you can also comment on YouTube, although I don't look at those as often, but it's still, I, I, I'm going to try and get a little bit better. And for a final little thing here is my content is going to be switching a little bit here in the future due to uh, just a little bit of a falling out I've had with FNF. Uh, just some stuff that's happened. I, I won't get too far into it, uh, but basically uh, if you I will be d posting more gameplay videos of like other games that I play I have an editor now who is doing tons of work for me. It's great. It's awesome And I very much hope that you guys are all excited for the near future So with that being said, I hope that you guys are looking forward to the next tutorial I'm hoping to upload these on a little bit of a better basis and a little less scuffed but hey, I mean, got to do what we got to do. All right. Thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to like, you know, all that jazz. All right. Bye now.